What is going on YouTube? Uh, don't worry about this guy. He just thought it was okay to AFK attack me. Uh, today is the first point in Rogue Demon history that such a large update has happened and two things. The community is absolutely furious and secondly, <clears throat> It has not changed the player count despite all the tens of thousands of views this update uh, the update videos have pulled not just on my channel but other content creators and tiktokers and it's really made no change is is frightening and uh we're going to talk about the possibly one of the biggest bad decisions that a successful battlegrounds game has ever made i hopefully won't have to make a video saying why rogue demon died and this be the reason hopefully some changes can be made and some functions can be changed but uh we're gonna talk about it so currently and, and even some players who have already started even some players who have already started uh playing rogue demon before this update had happened are also affected as in they don't have all the move sets unlocked so even players that have already previously played are still having to buy all the move sets and generally like i don't think look to buy every move set in game is going to cost you about four thousand robux i don't think the majority of the player base being children who just enjoy anime are going to want to um are going to have the money to be able to afford all that stuff and this guy chasing me is absolutely insane i might just turn around and blitz on him like are you good but yeah man so most people aren't going to have the robux for that stuff and uh it sucks because you know rogue demon has no intention of changing you know they they said it was for the money okay listen rogue demon there are several other ways to make money outside of of having to charge for the move sets i mean the reason why this game made it so big is because it has so many move sets and everybody can play them you know what i mean and so i think you guys could have gone different routes you know you could have gone the aura route you know what i mean sword auras fist auras you could have gone recolors um you know for trails and whatnot there's just so many other options that you guys could have had instead of destroying the fundamental of the game you know can you really consider this a battlegrounds given that you have to pay for movesets now is it really even still a battlegrounds given that you have to pay for movesets now i understand that he changed a little bit of it so your first like two or three movesets are going to cost you 100 rogue coins and i believe the starter um movesets are arrow and water breathing i'll read the specific announcement in in detail so you guys can understand everything uh, again so he says basically along the lines of he needs to do this for the money and they're only making money off of early access which only generates uh given that there's enough hype for the early access and now that they're going to be generating more money commissioning uh updates and whatnot is going to be significantly easier which all sounds like malarkey to me no disrespect i don't know if you're going to watch this video i made but i know well that you scripted the majority of the system and um you know getting vfx some animations and sound effects really isn't that expensive comparative to what you are currently making at 4,000 players average but he also says the moveset costs who already have the moveset b2w about the moveset cost for already have all the movesets. There's price scaling for your first two characters. You start with arrow and water as your starter movesets. The next two movesets you'll get will cost 100 rogue coins, which is actually not terrible, which because it basically means that if you just started the game, you'll be able to get your first two new movesets aside from water and arrow for a total of 100 robux if you choose to spin it that way. And then it'll go to 200 rogue coins and then the third move set so the first the next two move sets you get will cost 100 row coins then 200 row coins so basically let's say i'm a new player i have water breathing and i have arrow breathing i'm gonna have to purchase this right here uh, a total of four times i believe it is so four times would mean what 400 right i'm not even paying attention four times yeah so i'm literally so confused okay let me lock in i have two move sets water breathing arrow Yahaba and Giyu. The first new move set will, will be a total of 100 rogue coins, which means I'll have to buy this twice. Now, the next one is going to cost a total of 200, which means I'd actually have to buy this an additional four times in order to be able to afford that since it's 50. Next one's 200. So I'd have to purchase this four times to get my fourth move set. 
it'll cap at 300 row coins so the most expensive a move set is going to be is going to be 300 rogue coins which i know i'm not being followed again this dude's not real can't you see i'm busy here oh sh How dare you not respect the fact that I'm... Okay. We could have actually used Pot Escape there. Alright, he's not very good. Alright, let's calm down. So yeah, the most we're going to cost is 400 rogue coins. So for your third move set, it's going to cost you 100 rogue coins. Your next move set is going to cost you uh, 200 rogue coins. And then from there, the rest will cost 300 rogue coins, which is at the value. So basically, if you were to, okay, so if you were to take it at the middle uh, value chart, right, it's 250 Robux for 500, which would mean you'd get basically three move sets for 500 Robux. So $5 is three move sets, which to me sounds kind of okay there we go hopefully that'll work <laughs> go away that usually sometimes works but yeah so basically 500 robux is at the value of, of what like three move sets which is kind of wow so five dollars for three move sets it just seems so cash grabby like you really could have just added different cosmetics and whatnot and called it a day instead you're charging for the fundamental like the reason why i have such a big problem with this i have no problem with games making money you know it's the grind you know it's the digital gold rush you don't want to have to work a nine to five you know what i'm saying i understand but the problem comes when i believe it, it it'll affect the longevity and the player count of the game that's where i find the problem is and i could be wrong maybe you know if he gets out sonomy and whatnot the game will still do absolutely well hit over 15 20k players whatnot but from what i'm seeing you know what i mean it's just kind of whack now he he did bring up wind breathing in our last video we talked about wind breathing and and how that should be added as the next move set he says me starting on wind breathing means dragging it till i have the reference for an alt what I can do is prepare for the moves that are already animated, roll them out faster when it's time for wind early access, or maybe use some manga reference for the abilities that will probably not feel and look as good. Okay, well, here's the issue, my friend. Bro, do these guys understand what I'm saying? I feel like people just don't seem to listen. Okay. <sighs> Okie dokie. But yeah, here here's my whole issue with them adding sonomy breathing later on uh, instead of ASAP. So obviously bro you seen okay let's compare rengoku when rengoku first came out right the the rengoku all you could actually go to my oldest video on the channel you could see how it changed drastically uh for the better for the better so obviously like bro you could rebuild the alt you could redo the alt you know what i mean you're not limited to one variation of the alt so i feel like it's unnecessary then I mean, can't you just use Hinokami Chronicles as well? I'm pretty sure that's what you did for one of the docking moves anyways. So I, I really don't see the big issue. I really don't see the big issue with getting Sonomi out. And, you know, you got to think about it from a logical perspective. I mean, it's going to be a while before the uh, anything else comes up uh, Demon Slayer wise. All right, hopefully we could just get out now. But yeah, <clears throat> I don't like having to tell people to go away too much. But, you know, I'm clearly just running around in a void. So you could probably use your 
three working brain cells to uh, assume that I'm making a video or at least not in the mood to be followed around um, <clears throat> regardless though I think you could definitely get Sonomy out either way I mean bro what what's the uh, what's the thunder uh, ultimate isn't it something called like rice or, or some move it's some move that isn't Godspeed I don't think Godspeed is the actual ultimate of Zenitsu yet we still have thunder breathing out in its entirety you know what I mean so I don't think that really matters too much and then and then look at Tanjiro for example is Hinokami Kagura actually his most powerful sun breathing technique maybe maybe not but it's still out so i feel like it doesn't i feel like that's just an excuse you know you could always freestyle do whatever it takes until you get the actual animation and whatnot and you literally did sun halo as an update the uh m2 variation so you could literally do that you could add an m2 with sonomy people like the current alt whatever the case may be i think that there's always like you know an easier option out there to be done and i don't think that you have to do this wait waiting game there's a large percentage and a large contingent of people waiting for these things to come to the game why are these people no dude no there is no peace you can't just attack me and then be chill no i was busy bruv but listen like i said i think that this update could prove to be a fatal update for rogue demon in terms of just the game itself man like i think that this was a this was a very obviously it's going to make money but is it going to be worth it like i met if your game drops sub a thousand players would it still have been worth it like i just hope that maybe he considers the option of adding uh cosmetics other cosmetics and visual things instead of changing the fundamentals of the game um this does bring some inclusivity to movesets i think i said that in a previous video so now not everybody's gonna have every move set so certain cosplay videos and uh stuff like that will be more like special i suppose since not everybody will have that move set um but in general i think that there's no other real advantages maybe uh alt account preventatives bro they just don't stop But yeah, maybe uh, in terms of alt account preventatives, I mean, alt accounts are no longer going to be able to just select any of the most OP movesets and fight. But uh, I think I'm going to have to be kind of rude. in the chat I might have to be a little bit disrespectful in the chat all right I'm not gonna lie you guys do not want to see what I said in the chat if you're watching this video and you see what I said in the chat oh my gosh okay let me just make sure there's no bubble on top of my head okay there's not I said some crazy bro look look here's my thing no, you know what my biggest pet peeve is? Is people constantly asking me to 1v1. I'm like, bro, can I can I breathe? And then somebody said they have auto lock on, so they're going to be able to find my character. Yeah, literally. What? Are you serious? Okay, maybe there was a false alarm. Oh, no, it wasn't. He literally. Wow. And then turns back. Okay. Well that's that but yeah guys i think i'm gonna end this video here let me know truly what you guys think about everything and and things of that nature um let me know bro because i feel like they could have just added some cosmetics bro you could add some more custom hashira swords like i said you could have added auras you really could have just added really just added more clothing to the shops you know you could have made some faces and linked that i mean there's just other options bro then then changing the fundamentals of the game hopefully this doesn't affect things in the in the big scheme but i feel like it will and a large percentage of new players that would have prior to this update stayed active and consistent with the community may not because of of this update let me know what you guys think in the comments peace out